Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma. I'm doing a review of the SPY. I'm also going to do a review of the QQQs next, but let's go over the SPY first. I felt like the SPY was the driver today, but it really ended up not being because the Qs lagged behind the SPY. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Both of these charts will continue together simultaneously. In the long, bigger picture, we'll go all the way back to, well, let's go back a couple of years here. The SPY actually made a brand new all-time high in 2015 and 2014. I mean, the SPY has been moving ahead of the QQQs because the QQQs did not make a brand new all-time high last year, and it could have and it didn't. Fell short of it. Then we started the year down. Where do we have to get back to to be positive on the calendar year? Open of the year was 249. Should get over that tomorrow. Okay, let me just get my calculator here. Because we're gapping up tonight. Post market 249. Okay, let me just figure something out here. I'm just pretending like if we open here in neutral. Like if we were, if this was tomorrow morning, right this second, <clears throat> we'd have a dollar sixty-one to get back positive on the year. I, we're gonna do that by the end of the week. Wow. So do you see what happens with power of money? All of January we fell. Friday, uh, February we're sloshing around, and here we are. Start off to March. Guess what? In lickety split, we're gonna be back positive on the year by the end of this week. I think. I think we're gonna be positive on the year by the end of the week, and that's. That's, that's how big money works. It takes no time at all to turn something around if it wants to do it, and it is doing it. I really did say that yesterday was a turnaround day for the market. Today I called the market bullish. We ran up in the spy and held in the queues, but we didn't really drop. We're not gonna drop. We need to hold this bar, hold it as good as we could. And then I looked really hard in the morning. I said, what is the area? 197 in the spy is a support. And, and I actually talked about this in the room. I said, this is like doing brain surgery. I said, this is as, I said, brain surgery is actually as difficult as this to read the market right now today. That's what I said, because, because this is the morning we came in, broke the low this morning, and held, and I was trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out where do we need to hold. I said, 197. I said, 197, we must hold. We, we didn't break it. We didn't break it, and then we broke out late in the day. Tried and tried and tried to go higher, and we basically today was a rest day in the market. I know we had a body here that was green, but it really was a rest day for the market. So we break out tomorrow, run right all the way up. The number will pull this green is over 250, and the target's 202 for the market. I think we run right up tomorrow. I think we do it. No matter where we get, up, down, neutral, whatever, I think we run tomorrow in the market. And we have econ in the morning pre-market, but the market's ready to race, to race higher, to run. And we're so close to going positive now in the year, we're not not going to do it. And I knew, and I had 100% conviction that we could not dig into 50% even of this bar. But you didn't. And we had to hold the least level of support. And I figured out this morning it was 197. And we broke the low, but we still held. This is, I said, I said in the room this morning, this is like brain surgery to figure out the market here and the gap today. It was like a brain surgeon to figure out this gap today. And I read it right. But I'm telling you, it was tough, people. But my call for the market's going to come through. And I'm telling you right now, this market's going to blow every level, every one. But the, the level, first of all, the next, the next level will be over 200, 250. 202, I mean, and then there's all kinds of levels up here, but by the time we get up here, everyone's gonna say, oh, well, we're obviously we're higher. But I'm telling you right now, the short squeeze is gonna come in over the open of the year and then over this 202 level here, which is the gap down here that happened on 820. 821. So anyways, to make a long story short, someone asked in a webinar today, they said, what about what, what about the over the high? When we get up to the high, is this short there? No! Do you know that it, when we get up to this high, which we will, I don't know exactly when because I just can't tell from here, but do you know when we get up to this high, we're not gonna, we're not gonna fall. We're gonna blow over it. No one in the world probably but me and the stock swoosh, which is me, thought that we'd actually even make a brand new all-time high this year the way we fell this year. But I'm telling you, we are higher 100 percent conviction we'll make a new high this year and don't think it can't happen because it can and don't think it can't happen fast because it can i'm actually in two spy options that i've been down in 
down in since almost since I took them, I've been down in because I took them in the end of last year and then we collapsed into the open. But I'm telling you right now, they're going to be positive over 202. This is this is nutty. I mean, and I have such a big size in it. It's going to take like nothing for, for them to start moving like crazy for me. I mean, this is just going to be a wild ride this year wild ride this year and it's going to be short squeezed over and over and over again and the fact that someone asked me today in the webinar about shorting the high i thought to myself it's exactly what i'm talking about this is exactly the mentality of traders that they would want to short a brand new all-time high in the market thinking that it wasn't going to get over it i'm telling you right now people the market will hit 300. I, I don't think that happens this year when i looked at all the numbers when i figured everything out which was last year at the end of the year 300 is not going to be hit in 2016. But in 2017, I'm telling you, I have 100% conviction that 300 will be hit in the SPY. So, you know, and that's that's 100 points from here. But I'm talking two years out. But I'm saying, don't think we're going to look back. And remember, it's a it's an election year. I'm not saying these things play into the factor of anything. All I'm doing is reading the gaps in the price. But I'm telling you right now, look at what we just did. Look at this. We're gonna break out higher tomorrow. Look for follow through in the market. We're gonna run right up into here and get positive on the year. Here we go. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you'd like more information. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, Saturday and Monday. If you wanna learn how to predict all these things like I did, and these are possible predictions, people. If you wanna learn how to do this stuff, email me and sign up for the class. I'm running a special till the till Friday, the run free to the end of the year. That's an amazing deal. And I'm not going to be offering that again anytime soon. My business is expanding. Things are growing. I'm doing trades, options, day trades, everything. We're going to just hit the ground running this year. And I'm telling you, there's no looking back. You may as well just pretend that I'm the spy because I'm just heading up higher and I'm no looking back. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissa at the and we'll see what tomorrow brings.